Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new pair of Oakley sunglasses that I just picked up today at one of my local Oakley stores. Um, I wasn't really looking for this particular model, I just went into the store because I was at the mall already. I always like to kind of visit the stores to see what's new and things like that. They had a couple of new models. This particular one is not a new model. Um, this model is the Oakley Ojector. Now uh, I knew of this model when it came out, but I tend to gravitate towards pairs that have a little bit more of a wrap and this particular one seemed to sit more flat on my face. So even though I do have sunglasses that fit the same way, it, it wasn't really something that caught my eye. But when I was at the store today, I saw this one here and it really stood out um, from all the other ones. If you guys have, have visited Oakley stores, you know that they have a couple models sitting on the shelf with different colors and stuff like that. So um, this one really stood out and when I picked it up, uh, I really liked it. I, I loved the, uh, the color combination, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up uh, just because it was different. I don't have an Ojector model, so this is obviously my first one. So um, what, what better one than to grab one that's not the same as all the other ones out there. So again, this one is the Ojector. This one is in the matte gray smoke frame and prism ruby lenses now this one is actually a part of a collection and it's called the verb collection that's v-e-r-v-e -E. i'll put that in the title of the video but um, i had to look it up because i really didn't know too much about it so i'll read you real quick what it says on the oakley store regarding this collection or i'm sorry on the oakley website regarding this collection it says oakley's verb collection is inspired by passion and life movement and energy, all represented by the fiery color palette present in the collection's eyewear. The collection features a wide range of eyewear, all in a variety of incandescent hues, which highlight the new movements and shapes on the surface. The result is a one-of-a-kind sunglass that will have you standing out from the crowd. So um, again, I didn't really know about this collection, so I looked it up. There is a couple of other models available in this collection. There is one that I actually have my eye on. I saw it at the store today, I didn't pick it up. It's a brand new model. Uh, so stay tuned if you guys are interested in finding out which one that is. So I've spoken long enough. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Again, this is the Ojector. So typical uh, stuff inside of the box. So we'll set that off to the side here. And here is the glasses themselves, just in a black microfiber cloth, black microfiber bag with the plastic sleeve right there. So um, again, this one is, um, what did they call it again? The matte gray smoke frame. So as you guys can see, hopefully the uh, camera is picking it up. The front of the frame here is matte gray, but it's smoke. So it's almost a little bit see-through-ish. So let me take these stickers off of the lenses. That way uh, we can take a look at them a little bit better. That one is just letting you know that it is prescription ready and it is not polarized. And then this one letting you know that it is a prism lens. So take that off. Let me clean off these lenses real quick because now taking off those stickers, I put my fingerprints all over the lenses. There we go. All right, so again, this is a Prism Ruby Lens, a uh, nice kind of reddish color to them. You do have the word Prism etched at the bottom of the lens there. And again, this is the matte gray smoke frame. Now, what really stood out and the reason why I ended up picking these up is because when you open up the stems here, check out those stems. Really, really cool colorway there. So first off, you have this um, elliptical icon here. And depending on how the light hits it, it um, it changes colors, which is really cool. It's iridescent. So I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but it changes colors depending on how the light hits it. Then the um, stems here are really awesome. It's like a combination of almost like a black and copper color. And this particular frame, the Ojector, does have these kind of lines through it. So it's not flat. Um, all the way down, you have some dips and valleys on here, which make it look really, really cool. So the combination of um, those two different colors, the copper and the black, and then the dips and valleys on the frame itself lends it to come out really, really awesome. So I really do dig it. You have this uh, little styling in the front here. Um, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what, if that has a purpose or not. It's, uh, it's almost like a little circle right there. And then the same thing on the other side, and then the same icon and the stems right there. Now on the inside, you do have a little bit of a design feature. I almost wish they would have translated that towards the outside just to give it a little bit more relief instead of it just being um, kind of uh, smooth like that. 
But again, you do have that on the inside there. And then here you do have the model there, so ojector. And then this particular frame actually puts the, um, the SKU number on the bottom right here. You guys can make that out. So really interesting pair. Now, um, I, I, I'm kind of torn between the color of the frame here. I do like the, um, the smoke, the matte smoke gray frame, but if they would have done that same color on the stems here, then it, I, I feel that it would have gotten kind of lost in the shuffle with all the other styles and all the other pairs out there. So I'm glad that they did this colorway on the stems here. But then again, I almost wish they would have done the colorway in the front as well. Um, that would have made it look really, really cool, I think. Um, very different, especially with the uh, Prism Ruby lenses there. I think it, it, it would have... Um, not contrasted, but it, it would have blended in really nicely. You know, uh, the ruby lenses with this color frame here, I think uh, would have made it look really, really cool. Again, you know, this is a styling choice that Oakley did, and um, it is what it is. You kind of have to take it with how they decided to go with it, but um, I, I really wish they would have done that. So maybe um, they'll come out with something else and stuff like that. The other models on this line, again, um, this, uh, what they're calling the Verve Collection, um, some of them are a little bit muted. Some of them have uh, this kind of colorway, not this specific color, but just this blending of the colors. And then the same thing with the icon there all throughout the frames. So again, stay tuned if you guys are interested in seeing something else, because I think I'm definitely going to pick up another model in this collection because they did a really, really cool job. So I'll actually leave a link to Oakley's website below in case you guys are interested in seeing the other models that are available in this collection because I think they're really, really cool. Um, as always, I will go ahead and turn the camera around so you guys can see what this look like, what, the, what this pair looks like on me. Again, it's um, not too much of a, of a wrap to them. They sit a little bit straighter on the face so you guys can uh, get a better look at that all right guys so let's go ahead and take a look at this model again this is the ojector i'll go ahead and put these on um really cool pair i think um it's, this is just a great pair to kind of hang out in you know if uh, if you're driving around town hanging out you know walking around and things like that great great pair it's obviously an o matter frame so it's going to be very lightweight which is really nice but as you can see it is very flat on my face not a lot of wrap on the side here, so you are gonna get some um, space right here on the sides. It does come down really nice, so you're not gonna have any glare or anything bouncing off your cheeks into your eyes or anything like that, but um, just remember that it's it doesn't have that wrap that some of the other uh, models from Oakley do have. So um, I like it. Um, this is the type of pair that I would just kinda, you know, um, reach out to and just put put on if, if I just, I'm leaving the house really quick and just hanging out, maybe running some errands and stuff like that. So again, that matte gray smoke frame looks really really nice but you know obviously the selling point at least for me of this particular model which is a part of the verb collection is the stems right here i really do like the way that they did that kind of copper and black uh splatter look to it kind of mixture there looks really really nice and then that icon i'm hoping the camera catches it just the the different uh iridescent look to it when the different lights hit it you know at different angles and stuff like that obviously the prism ruby lens is uh, a nice kind of daily wear lens it lets in about 17 percent of light so you know it's good for driving and whatnot um if you're going to be out in the sun as always um if i go inside i would probably just kind of bring them up like that put them on top of my head and then once i'm done i can just bring them back down and they sit really really nicely so very comfortable very lightweight uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I wasn't really looking at picking up this particular model. The ojector kind of fell um, through the cracks for me. Uh, it's kind of similar to some of the other models that were already out or are coming out afterwards. But once I saw this particular combination, I really, really liked it. Um, just because of all the colors, you have the red for the lenses, the gray in the front, the red and uh, or copper and black on the sides. Uh, there's a lot going on with this pair and that's kind of what I like. I've been gravitating towards pairs that are more um you know there's there's more going on and and uh you know that's that's kind of what what's been attracting me so I'm, I'm glad i was able to pick these up uh, as i mentioned i'll leave a link to oakley's website if you guys want to see some of the other models that are available in this collection the verve collection from oakley because i think uh they did a, a pretty cool job with some of them as far as the combination of the colors and the frames and, and the lenses and stuff like that so there it is uh just a look at the oakley ojector the verve collection which this particular one is the matte gray smoke frame with the prism ruby lenses let me know if you guys have any questions thanks